Understanding, alert and oriented, a key to effective communication. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase that's not only crucial in healthcare but also in understanding how we perceive and interact with the world around us. The phrase is, alert and oriented. Whether you're learning English as a second language or you're just curious about English phrases, this video will unpack the meaning, usage, and importance of being alert and oriented. Let's get started. Alert and oriented is a term often used in medical contexts to describe a patient's level of consciousness and awareness. But what does it really mean? Alert. This part of the phrase refers to being fully awake, responsive, and able to understand and react to the environment. It's not just about having your eyes open, it's about being aware of what's happening around you. Oriented. Being oriented means having a clear understanding of who you are, personal orientation, where you are, spatial orientation, and the current time or situation, temporal orientation. In medical terms, professionals often refer to this as being oriented times three, X3, covering person, place, and time. Understanding and being able to describe someone as alert and oriented is important for several reasons. 1. Healthcare. In medical settings, assessing if someone is alert and oriented helps professionals determine the patient's mental status and whether they might need immediate attention. 2. Everyday life. Outside of healthcare, the concept can apply to how we assess situations and make decisions. Being alert and oriented means you're capable of making informed decisions and responding appropriately to your environment. 3. Language and communication. For English learners, knowing such phrases enriches your vocabulary and helps you understand more nuanced ways of describing someone's mental and physical condition. In conversations, you might hear or use this phrase when discussing someone's health or reaction to a certain event. It's a succinct way to describe someone's state of awareness. Self-assessment. Understanding this concept can help you self-assess or help others recognize when they might not be fully aware or oriented, which is crucial in emergency situations or when someone is feeling unwell. I hope this exploration of the phrase, alert and oriented, has illuminated a new aspect of the English language for you and shown you how language intersects with our understanding of consciousness and health. Being alert and oriented goes beyond medical jargon. It's a vital part of how we interact with the world and communicate our state to others. Thank you for joining me on this linguistic journey and I look forward to uncovering more intriguing aspects of the English language together. Stay curious and keep learning!